Okay, so this is Scott Collier from Astro Northwet. I'm going to show you what I'm doing to uh, fix my uh, Ioptron tripod mount uh, with the extensions. As you can see here, it's got these tiny little holes that are made for these tiny little screws and they are nowhere near strong enough to hold the uh, mount and the telescope onto the top of this thing and they, they wobble around no matter how tight I make them and then I've you know I've stripped out the uh, I stripped out the, the heads on these things with the Allen Allen wrench trying to get them tight enough and it still just wobbles and flops all over the place and really affects the guiding. So what I did <clears throat> is I got some new screws, which are the larger six uh, metric size with the fine threads on them. And they're the same size as these guys here, which were what was holding my extension onto the mount. <clears throat> and so let me show you here. Oh, okay, I guess I put that one in. Um, Sorry about the fuzzy video. Let's see here, which one is it? I think it's this one. This is the last one I have to do. Because uh, what I did is um, put a countersink on these things. And the countersink is going to, okay, so I've countersunk not just the shell here, this this pipe, which is fairly thin, I don't know, it's probably a little more than an eighth, or a th uh, like three sixteenths of an inch or something like that. But anyway, it's uh, fairly thin. It's, you know, could be called sheet metal, I guess. So what I did is I countersunk into both the, the sheet metal part and into the, the hole a little bit, which is part of this pot metal extension adapter and <clears throat> so what that does is it locks the two together with a, a cone which is you know as strong a, a join as you can probably get without it you know being able to wiggle around so I put that in there tighten it up and I think I have one more to do, but I'll just show you this thing. It was, I was able to just move this around and shake it. And now it's as tight as it can be. It's very tight. So I'm going to do the same thing um, with these holes here, these little ones that go with these little screws. Right there, I'm going I'm to size them up. I've got the, the size 6M uh, thread tap. So I'm going to size them up tap them to the larger size, and then uh, do the same thing, just countersink everything uh, over here on the mount. And then when I put that on, it won't be wobbling around like this. Because every, you know, these holes are too big for, well, they're not too big, they're just, just a bad design. Uh, but they're big enough to allow, even with those little screws tight, they're big enough to allow this thing to to rock. See there? See how it rocks? You can put that screw in there and tighten it up as tight as it'll go and it'll still rock because the holes are, are bigger than the screw and it's always going to wear out and, and you know over time anyway and uh, and start to rock but these up here they're not going to rock because they're locked in place by the cone shape of the countersink. So that's what I'm doing today. And uh, just got a few more to go. Here's my little countersink kit. I think everybody should have one of these. And I'm going to not use this. And I'm not going to use these ridiculously small, tiny screws that came with the mount. So that's my story. And I'm sticking with it.